Good morning. Good morning to you. You live in a shoe. So, before I get into this vlog today, I want to say a couple things. I'm trying to like sit you up there. You guys are going to do a little bit of a get ready with me. Alex is on the patio right now. I think we're going to go to the pool for a little bit before we go to Ultra. Um, I received a lot of comments from people saying that they don't want to see vlogs of me just sitting in the hotel room. Which I totally understand. Part of the problem has been so far since we've gotten here is that with the exception of one day we've been going to Ultra. And so I don't just have like limitless time to uh, walk around and film video. I wish I could. The other thing is that the sound outside you guys it's like I don't know if you've ever been in Miami but everywhere that you go in Miami it is really loud and um so it would it would honestly just be like a walking vlog um oh hold on a second yeah I'm filming right now just so you know um so honestly it would just be a walking vlog because I wouldn't be able to uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, that being said, I do these for two reasons. One, um, so that I have memories of them. And two, for you guys to enjoy them. So... I promise you within the next couple of days, I will do a uh, vlog where I like show more of the city and the beach and stuff like, when we're not going to Ultra. Because I do want to show you guys that. But I'm also doing the best I can to keep up with this. Because I didn't want to stop vlogging while I was gone. How's Fufu? He's good. Is he excited for your mom to come? Oh, I know. <laughs> so anyway, are you going to the pool? Yes. Do you want to go to Starbucks? Sure. We're getting ready to go to Starbucks. Well, I'm definitely going. Somebody asked me in the comment section if I leave the water on while I'm brushing my teeth. And I hadn't even really thought about that as far as water conservation. I mean, I've heard people talk about it before, but I never really think about it. So thank you for saying that. Do you leave the water on when you are brushing your teeth? Yeah, I leave the water on for every day. Are those new sunglasses? Last day of Ultra Music Festival, Alex just told me that Swedish House Mafia, like I predicted, Confirm that they are the last ones. But tonight. I haven't seen it, but Ultra hasn't confirmed it. Or Ultra hasn't confirmed it yet, okay. Oh. Which means that Martin Garrix definitely is not playing. Oh. Right? I guess so. Because he's not on the list anywhere. There was a time. I love that song so much. Do you like that song? Mm -hmm. Here's my new bathing suit that I got. See, it's pink plaid. If I get home and I'm fat, I'm gonna be so pissed. See, that's kind of like one of the pluses of just being fat, because then you don't have to worry about going home and being fat. <laughs> 
You don't have to be like, well, when I get home, if I'm fat, because you just kind of already know you are. I don't know what I think of this bathing suit. You guys were so funny. I showed a little bit too much. I was changing, so I had to turn the camera on. Turn the camera off. <sighs> well, we're not going to go with this bathing suit today. really big on me. There was a time. Okay, now I have to put up yesterday's vlog. Which is, I really already have up. Here, I'm trying to like make a little. There you go. Which I uploaded last night. There was a time. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. This is like fast internet today, I don't know why. Don't forget to go check out my merch shop. I never say that, so I feel like I should go say that. Don't forget to go check out my merch shop. 15 older celebrities who used to be gorgeous. And they have Bridget Bardot. 12 celebs Hollywood won't cast anymore. Why can't I think of her name? But I love her. She was the one that was in, um, think something about Mary. Katy Perry, 14 celebrities who are unrecognizable without makeup. And then they have Sylvester Sloan's daughter, 16 incredibly beautiful kids of celebrities. This is a channel called Tempt, T-E-M-P-T, -E and I love it. Do you guys ever fall down the rabbit hole of those kind of videos? They're totally like most of them like clickbait as hell too. There's like 400 channels just like that. There was a time. See, I have to put this video up before we leave to go to Ultra because I can't, the, um, what do you call it, the, the Wi-Fi is so bad from there. Oh shit, I just put public. Anyway, well, I guess I could uh, film while we go to Starbucks, couldn't I? Brady's King? No, I'm putting this up real quick. Give me just a couple minutes. It'll take me two or three more minutes. Your changes are being saved. All changes saved. What should I call this vlog, do you think? What do we talk about here? Fence. But there were like. yesterday's vlog. I kind of, huh? What are the nail clippers? They're in the side of my dop kit thing. I kind of forgot that you guys were on for a second. Did you like that? Wasn't that cute? I am. Um, didn't even realize that I didn't put the date for yesterday's video. March 22nd, 23rd, so that would make today 24th vlog. That is so funny that I didn't do that. Today's
I know, but it's always one day behind. Alright, you were trying to figure out what day to put it. It was time. How's that more? Okay, and then I have to put the tags. What tags should I put? Do you guys think? Let's see. Peter Mon, Peter Vlogs, Vlog, Vlogger, Vlogging. <laughs> Best Vlogger. <laughs> should I put that? Best gay vlogger. <laughs> you can put any tag you want to, if you want to. You can put Miami, South Beach, Victor Hotel, Hotel Room Tour. Ultra. 18 Ultra. Ultra Music Festival. Miami Music Week. Huh? Miami, Miami, Miami. Music Week. No! What else do I want to put? Oh, vacation. <sighs> Travel vlog. Travel vloggers. Maybe I'll get picked up and we'll be the new travel vloggers of the world. Vacation all I ever wanted. Vacation having a good time. <laughs> okay, I need to finish getting ready and then I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye. We're going to get coffee. You could get so lost in this hotel. <gasps> There's Alex. I'm gonna have to turn this off as soon as we walk outside because the music goes on like crazy. I can hear people talking. Yeah, because they're at a this isn't our floor. I thought we were going to we're getting going to bed first. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse us. Ooh, it's nice today. Thank you so much. Alright guys. <laughs> Where do you want to be? Ooh, look at it today. It's looking nice. So pretty. Ready? You ready, Betty? That one old man, like, he's over there reading the newspaper literally, like, every day. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this place. It smells so good. You should slide down the banister. Do it. No, I'm not five. What? <laughs> what? No, I'm not five. <laughs> <sighs> That's the factory, so. I don't know if it's gonna let me film this or not. So this is the sugar factory. 
by here. So pretty today. They're building our mansion right here. Look. That's our mansion they're building. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I mean, I don't want a place that big to live ever. Oh, I do. Then I could have all my wolf pack coming and I could play with us. You can have one. Oh. <laughs> It is literally over here, look. There's like not a cloud in the sky. It's so pretty today. You okay, babe? Yeah, this would... Well, it wasn't my fault. I didn't blame you. <laughs> Yesterday when we were, where were we walking where I stepped in a hole at <laughs> Ultra? We were at Ultra. I know, but where were we? I like stepped in this hole and it was like so embarrassing. Cause like, oh, it was when you were tr p filling your water thing. Hey guys, what the street in Miami looks like. And there's all these little hotels right here like this. That have these cute little, see people just sit out there all day long. I think there's like a smell to Miami. It always smells like baked goods to me. Baked goods? Yeah. Like it smells like they're baking. I mean, I don't think there's like a the smell like that like all over Miami. We're just in South Beach. Look at that. Look, that's how close I want to be to the beach. I want to live right there so I can go to the beach every day. If you lived here, would you go to the beach every day? Probably not. Why not? We've been here six, that four days. And we've we've gone to, to Ultra for yet. three, though. We, we wouldn't go to Ultra every day that we lived here. Right. Alex said but last like, night, he goes, wouldn't it be amazing if but the beach Ultra was every, every day? day? Ultra isn't. I would go to the beach every day. No, you wouldn't. You didn't even go to the pool every day. <laughs> I think somebody needs some tea. I know it's not gonna let me film in here with the music. So, oh, look at all the goodies. Are you gonna get a croissant? I don't know. Alex used to always get croissants. String cheese. Is. I think it's a uh, trench of black iced tea and sweet and no water. Okay, you want to talk? Okay, this is hard holding this up, so I'm not this down. <laughs> so it starts. <laughs> so it starts! Another ultra. Woo! We did it, babe. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sad. Oh my god. It may look as if I have on the same shirt, but I don't. <laughs> this is another black t-shirt, of which I own many. <laughs> oh my gosh, my feet. We just got back from eating. We went way down past mangoes and ate. And I can't pronounce that stuff. What did I have? Noche? Gnocchi. Gnocchi. It was so good. But it was real heavy. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my gosh, and Alex had a margarita pizza. Woo! Oh my lord. My feet are hurt. I danced so much tonight. Yeah. And Alex danced with no shirt on. That was like his goal. He was like, I want to lose weight 
and get into shape so that I can dance with no shirt on. And he did it. I'm very proud hey, of him. Hey, put those shoes on the floor and not the bed. Oh, yeah. So, he did it. Today was intense. We saw, well, who's the first one that we saw that, oh, I don't know why I keep on putting my shoes in there. Today? Yeah, cashmere. Uh-huh. Cashmere was really good. And then, we saw... Who was After the, Cashmere was Cascade. Cascade, who Alex loved, and he's like, Cascade's like my fave. But I have to say, I wasn't, like, he wasn't my fave this year. Oh. I cried. <laughs> Alex cried, he said, did you hear him? My hair kind of held up tonight. <laughs> I said to Alex at dinner, I said, do you ever think, like, my husband ha it's, this has the worst sense of humor? <laughs> he was like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> oh. Are your legs hurting? Yeah, my whole body's a noodle. You're a noodle? Mm -hmm. Alex and I, we had such sweet moments at the music festival, didn't we? We both cried. So Swedish House Mafia who haven't been together in five years. I was trying to figure out, were they there the first year that we were there? They weren't, were they? So this is the first time I've ever seen Swedish House Mafia together. Last year, like the year, so we went, our first year going to Ultra was their first year not being together. The year before was our last year. There's Alex's picture on Instagram with no shirt on. I took it. With a very nice message. You put ultra, I had tough time so much. No. <laughs> Why'd you put had a tough time? Oh my god, don't ask dumb questions. <laughs> Is that an edit? Please don't ask dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> Live in the moment, passion. My life is mine. I'm the only one that can control it. Your dreams deserve to become reality. I feel like this is like one of Luce's <laughs> pictures. It's very sweet though, honey. You should live by it. I do live by it. Cry and feel, it's important. I do. I post this shirtless pic because I danced with my shirt off for the first time in a long time. I'm not judging my body. Aww, Alex. He said, can I read it? No. I mean, it's on Instagram. He said, I post this shirtless picture because I danced with my shirt off for the first time in a long time. I'm not judging my body. My eating disorders aren't messing with my brain. I worked hard. I stayed focused. I dreamt. I made them a reality. Let dreams fuel your life, not just your sleep. Oh, sweet, I love that. It makes me so happy. He's worked so hard on stuff. I'm so proud of you, babe. Thanks, honey. Are you crying? <laughs> Am I crying? Mm -hmm. Do I know? I'm trying to take these off. You're not going to? I'm trying to take these Just rip off. them off. They rip right off. But they don't rip when you rip them off. Those shorts are so cute that you want. one. <gasps> After I just said they don't rip. So I'm trying to... I'm thinking I might post the ultra footage sometime this week if I can figure it out. And I just won't monetize it because it has music and stuff on it. Because so many people wanted to see Alex dance and I dance. I have a lot of footage. Alex has a lot of footage and I have a lot of footage. So if we save it, we put it together in a video. That'd be kind of cute anyway because then we can like have that. Yeah. As like ultra footage, you know. Five years we have done ultra together. Too many more. In 20 years, I'll be 65 going to ultra. And I will. There was like this old gay couple there. Did you see them? I saw a lot of gay couples there. There were a lot of gay couples, but this couple was like, obviously like early 70s. And I was like, that makes me so happy. There were so many people that were like 10 times older than I was. We saw Lele Pons and I didn't even know who she was. <laughs> you sure enough, as soon as you figure it, like I told you, you were like all about the... Yep. 
All about the receipts. Like, her, all her friends were being outrageous and smoking the ganj. But they were all like taking the selfies and stuff. Alex is like, there's Lele Punch. She's from Venezuela, isn't she? Yeah. She's very pretty in person, I will say that. Like, I, if you guys know who she is, she's a she was a Viner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is funny because like, anybody first, can be funny for seven seconds, even Lele Pons. <laughs> the first time we went to Ultra, she was no one. And like, literally, we were walking out of VIP one of the nights or whatever, and she was like, Trying to sneak into VIP because she was. I kind of remember you saying something about her like years ago, yeah. like seeing her there. Because she wasn't like 21 or whatever. Um, and five years later, she's like sitting at a VIP table, and we're still. <laughs> she's very there. pretty, and she and her friends—they honestly looked like they were having a good time. They were yeah. just a bunch of kids. Just and they were dancing the whole time. I mean, like, can I have some of that chapstick, please? It would be one thing, like, if they went and they weren't dancing. Like, they were dancing. Like, you could tell they were having a really good time. Dancing. Okay, so who are your faves? David Guetta, let me just tell you, that man. Cut all of his hair off, first of all. But, Which looks so good. Yeah, it looks so much better. He's really a hot older man. But, can I just tell you, he fucking killed it tonight, okay? I, have, I danced my ass. Off, I danced my ass off. Aww. Fucking go that. I can get that. We had so much fun. I feel like there were like ten times more people there today than there were the last two days. I feel like there were so many people yesterday. There were a lot of people yesterday. I was like, I started to cry when Sweet Child's Mafia came out, and then when they played Don't Worry Child. So if you guys don't know, Steve. Uh, Swedish Shop Mafia. Why are you laughing? I can't see around the beach, Toad. <laughs> Why are you laughing, though? Because I'm laughing. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, if you don't know who Swedish... <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say it. Swedish Shop Mafia. You have glitter all over you from I Paulina. Know. We saw a friend of ours from Indianapolis. So, hey, Paulina. I love her. I love her so much. So... We, um, if you don't know who Swedish Mouse, Ma Swedish Mouse Mafia, Swedish Mouse. House Mafia, they, okay, so they wouldn't announce who the, like, the final person was tonight. And everybody was kind of guessing it would be, like, Swedish House Mafia or anything. They had it, like, faded out. You couldn't really see it. Yeah. And so... Which, like, they didn't, I mean, like, they had, like, a two-name, like, blur or whatever. Yeah, it was, like, two names. Which I kept saying, I'm like, it's gonna be Steve Angelo. I thought it was going to be Martin Garrix, but then I was like, why would they, like, Martin Garrix didn't play Ultra this year. I can't believe it. But he was down here. Did he play parties? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know if he was on here. I know that girl was like, or Daft Punk. I was like, Daft Punk will never, like, headline Ultra. But I, I do like Daft Punk. Knife though, Party uh, did it, like, a couple of years ago. Now it's like, hmm. DJ Snake was last year, and I didn't think they were that great. He. But, um. So we, uh, Swedish House Mafia, okay, for those older folk like me out there. It's Axwell and Grosso, two guys, and Steve Angelo, and they used to play all together, three of them. Axwell and Grosso. Axwell and Grosso. Axwell and, and Grosso. Sebastian Grosso. Right, Sebastian and Grosso, and then Steve Angelo, the three of them. They used to all play together. And then they broke up, and then it was Steve Angelo by himself. And then Axel and Grosso. So what was really cool though at one point, I asked Alex, he didn't see this video, but because they went to he went to go get a beer. Was it like the one of like the little boy and little girl walking and stuff? No, it was footage of when like they had gotten together and it was like all their footage of like them playing together. And then it was like and it was the song was I can't remember what song it was. It was something about like when it was difficult to go our separate ways or something like that. But they showed them like breaking up in like their last set that they ever played. Is it because did they break up because Steve Angelo had a baby? No, they we actually because they showed like a child and a woman like through the whole thing. Like they broke up because they got older and they had like families and stuff like that. They all I think they all have kids. But they but he uh, said tonight they said did you hear it? He goes we'll be Swedish House Mafia forever. We'll I mean, be Swedish House Mafia. I'm gonna start crying thinking about it. <laughs> You're so sweet. I just love to see people who are so passionate about what they do. Whether it's music, whether it's dancing at music festivals, whether it's art, whether it's writing books, whether it's 
working at Walmart, whether it's making YouTube videos, yeah, whatever it is. Why, if somebody's that passionate about it, Liz's granny was the hostess at Walmart. She loved it. She's like, I would never have another job. I love it. Well, there you go. As long as it fulfilled her. Mm hmm. So but I it's think. It's not like it's not the job. It's just like what the job brings. There was this guy, if you ever saw the Woodstock documentary, and his job was cleaning the porta pots <sighs> at, the, at Woodstock. Uh, speaking of which, which like, let me speaking of which, let me just so tell you tonight. Cool. When we were going up to like the VIP, like one of the restaurants was like down. Yeah, like one minutes one, and like it like raked. Yeah, they have really like they have like nice like porta pots like in the VIP section, but one of them was like he said it. The guy next to me said it was closed down because it had it was leaking. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, if you watch the Woodstock documentary, there's a guy in there, and he's like so like. He talks like very zen about cleaning the toy the porta pots and like that's his job and that's his purpose and we all have to have our purpose. We all have to be passionate about something and do it to our best and I love that he talks about that. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. <laughs> that was the worst rendition ever. Your clock was set bright the other day. Yeah, I like messed up. <sighs> do you think those are fireworks? Um, or gunshots. <laughs> oh my god. They sound very similar. We had such a good time. It was so much fun. I danced probably the whole night with the exception of about 15 minutes, don't you think? Too much booty in your pants. Too much booty in your pants. Too much booty in your pants. You got no booty in your pants. I got no booty in my pants. <laughs> and I lost my booty. It's fine. I'm oh, I'm stretching totally my legs out. I'm stretching my legs out. Are you taking a shower? I sure am. <laughs> You're getting the wear out of those Andrew Christian underwears. So the next couple days, I'm really gonna try to film some footage like outside of less, like we're gonna go Get up early. to the beach and then we're gonna go to Lincoln Park for, is that Lincoln Park? That's Chicago. Lincoln Road. <laughs> Lincoln Road for dinner tomorrow night. And um, I wanna go to that lush bath store. What? Like you weren't about like the bath bomb? I know, but I want to do another one. I want to do another bath bomb. It was fun. Are you going to do like a video about it? Oh my God. Can I do a video about bath bombs? Whatever the fuck you want, bro. Oh, I'm going to like steam out the shower so I can like sit there. He like sat in the shower last night. He had such a good time. And like, it's up so nice. Relax my muscles. <laughs> What was your favorite one song of the entire night? Um, God, David Guetta was so good, wasn't he? He was really good. I don't know, I mean like... I just like, I mean anything that Cascade played, I cried. Like, I, did, I mean like I couldn't like... I definitely like standing up where we were at the end, like the VIP section at the end, at the, instead of down. Like yeah. it reminded me of like our first couple of years there. I forgot how like immersed in like the show it is upstairs than like the dance. Floor. You feel like you're really part of the show, yeah. Well, and I forget that like we're like in a platform, so like when you're dancing, everybody jumps. You, you can feel, feel it. The yeah. thing. Like like at one point I was like. How many Heineken's are that? Hey, I wanted to share this on here. What's the thing they, <laughs> he didn't drink that many Heineken's. You had like three, maybe. I know. What was, uh, what was that thing called, speaking of Heineken's, the, the group that go around and they wear the, do they wear the shirt that say mission control or do they wear the t-shirts that say, do you need help? The neon green shirts? That say, do you need help? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are like, these are like guys and girls that walk around they're like enjoying the show though, right? I mean, I, sure, I'm sure. They're just sober and they're just there to like provide. Yeah, and they're sober. And so like, if you're like going through something like drugs or drinking or whatever, they're like there to help you. And I love that. I was like, oh my God, that's something that I could do. I like that though. 
And it was really, it was, I didn't see, honestly, like, I don't think I saw one person, like, falling out from, like, any kind of drugs or anything. So. But I'm going to go to sleep early tonight. What time is it? Because last night, I did not get enough sleep. He did not get enough sleep, and we were a little irritable this morning. <laughs> and then after we had our coffee and our iced tea, we were like, good. I'd like to get up one morning and eat breakfast or brunch, too. There's also this, um, YouTube keeps on, like, privatizing this one video of mine. I do not know why they do it. Paisley O'Brien just said, this title, okay, so my video today on my main channel was called Quitting YouTube. It's really about YouTubers that are quitting YouTube. And Paisley O'Brien said, this title almost gave me a crap attack, and then she put the poop emoji. I need my YouTube Ellen, okay? Okay, Paisley! I like that name, that's so cute. Should we get over to my vlog and see what people are saying? I know you guys want to see more of Outside Miami, so I apologize, I'm going to try to do a lot more of that. The next. Excuse me. <laughs> I see full on frontal nudity. What? I see full on frontal nudity. <laughs> At least I'm not cold. <laughs> oh, Loretta Lob said, I appreciate you bringing us on holiday with you so much. I'm loving these vlogs. Oh, thank you. Alyssa Astorita said, I snuggle up in bed and turn out my lamp. Then you got in bed with Alex and get all comfy and sing in bed with Pete or I, aww, that makes me so happy. Oh my God, all these people saying they watch their, uh, my vlog before they go to bed at night. Carrie String Ring Circus, oh, that is such a cute name, and Carrie Caps Blackwood. I watch her vlog every night before bed. My husband always says, good night, babe, good night, Peter. <laughs> good night, husband. Uh, the coupon talk. Oh my god, I got so many com comments about coupon versus coupon. Okay, I'm on the Texas Arkansas line. I say coupon, but my hubby says coupon. But I think most people here do say coupon. People call me out on saying coupon. Okay, it's like this thing. Here's the thing. It's like if you watch advertisements, like they changed it. Like they now call it a coupon. Everybody keeps on, okay, so like I got so many messages on Snapchat about this tonight. They're like, where's PP? I'm like, do you watch my vlogs? So I talked to Tanya right before, we were literally walking into, I finally got a hold of her. We were literally walking into, uh, mm, I'm gonna start crying when I talk about this. I'm so emotional tonight. Swedish House Mafia fucked this one up. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that my language is bad, but I just was so emotional seeing it. And, uh, I don't know. I just feel so grateful for my life and like, you know, just like the music and all of it and the lights and the fireworks and being with my husband is just so cool. We met so many nice people tonight and um, so many fun people. One of these guys from Mexico that we sat there and uh, they're from a Mon they were from Monterey, Mexico and um, they owned a plumbing company together. <laughs> they're totally random but we danced with them at the end of the night. It was so much fun. But everybody keeps on asking like in my Snapchats, where's PP? where's PP? So anyway, I talked to Tanya right before we walked into Ultra, and I was like, how are the, how, you know, is PP doing? And she was like, oh my God, he's doing so good. She's like, he hasn't coughed at all. I was so happy. And she's like, he's eating so much. And she was like, he's taking his medicine every day, but he's being a total snot about it. She's like, I have to hide it in the food. And she's like, then I have to stand there while he eats all this food. And she goes, he snarfs it down in like two seconds. <laughs> But she said he's walking around the yard and he's smelling like every place that every other dog has like pottied. And that he just like lays out in the sun. And I'm so happy that he gets to do that. It makes me so happy because at home he doesn't get to do that. And Alex talked to Carlos and Boo and Tucker are doing fine. They're like overfeeding them though, I think. They're like giving, like feeding them. I told them to feed them a half each in the morning and at night. I think they're feeding them a container at night each and a container in the morning each. <laughs> they're gonna come back and our dogs are gonna be so fat. And Natalie said, don't ever forget this. It takes one, I read this one, this meant a lot to me. It takes one hell of a very confident man to show your emotions. You are amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Here's another one, Pennywise. Hey, Penny. 
So, love you, Peter. I still say coupon. I'm from Ohio. Dude, Alex is so funny. <laughs> they do that in restaurants over Florida. Georgia, Georgia Serotonis. I was in Fort Lauderdale and Miami, too, from March 24th. Oh, my God. How did we not miss you? From Montreal, Canada. I kept my eyes open for you guys, but with no success. Haha. -ha. Hope you had fun at Ultra. We did. Oh, my God. I wish we would have ran into you. Romantic time. I love this term. It will be my new term. Yes, that equals the sex. <laughs> but you say romance. Like you say, we're going to have some romance tonight. <laughs> Although probably not tonight because we're both pretty beat and my legs are killing me. <laughs> and we just ate. And so I'm ready just to like lay in bed and watch some TV. <laughs> and my friend and I back in the day, Krista, we used to like... This is so funny because I was like 21 at the time. Like before we would go out, we would decide if it, like which one was like, we would rate food, sex, and sleep in a row, and, like which one we wanted. It kind of happened when, when you get married too. Alex was so patient with me tonight. Okay, like, so if you've ever been to Miami before on Ocean Drive, there's literally restaurant, 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 restaurant. And I was not happy. They were either closed and they wouldn't serve us or they were open and they had nothing on the menu that I wanted, right? And so it was like every single, and I was like, I stop and I'd ask every single one of them, do you have a veggie burger? No. And um, first of all, I don't know how veggie burgers are so screwed up in Indiana, because everywhere I go, the veggie burgers suck in Indiana. But down here, the veggie burgers are amazing. They are incredible. And, um, and like every place I go, I'm like, do you have a vegetarian menu? And they have like an entire menu that's just all vegetarian. And then, like, they take everything that's off, like, the main menu that's vegetarian, and they have a separate menu for it. It's fantastic. Like, that would be, if I could, if that was how it was in Indiana, I would have no problem being a vegetarian. So, it's been super easy to be a vegetarian down here. Michelle said, yes, <laughs> the little front piece of hat hair. It looks like a rabbit tail. Adorable. I should put a little rabbit emoji. Amber Wilson Watson said, Alex is so funny. <laughs> I know. He should start. You're killing me reading that menu. I'm hungry. Those pancakes and waffles sound so good. Said life with migraines. Electric, Bu Electric Bu said, Blue said, I couldn't wait to see you on your vacation, and I'm so disappointed that the only thing that you've shown us on your vacation that we've heard about for months is your hotel room. I'm from Pittsburgh, and I've always said coupon long queue, and I've always used, used, and I also used to always say Warsh. I think there are, like, certain parts of, like, the country that say Warsh. Yeah, I'm sorry about the hotel room thing, you guys. It's hard. And the other thing is, like, to be really honest with you, and I'm not trying to be a bitch about this, but it's like, I do, like, we are on vacation, and I'm trying to spend some time with Alex. So, like, a lot of times if I whip out the camera, it's like, I mean, like, we're trying to enjoy some time together. But I do want to show a lot of it. Also, because I want to have it on film, too. Like, I want to have, like, you know, this is why I could never be a travel vlogger, even though I tagged my videos the last two days. Travel vlog. <laughs> because you have to be like, you have to think this thing, this stuff through. I know, I know it gets boring to see me sitting on this bed talking like I'm still in my car at home, you guys. I apologize. The alternative is I don't post anything, and I don't want to do that, because I love posting my vlogs and keeping it up. So, I'll promise over the next couple days. I tried to this morning. <laughs> post the vlogs this morning when we were like walking around and stuff like that. I hope it will let me upload it. Um, if it won't, if it, if this is the thing. It's not always about me demon. It, it, like, I don't really, to be honest with you, care about the monetization. I want to explain this of the videos. Okay. Like I like, like I don't really care if I'm making like a shit ton of money off the videos. It's not what it's about to me. But a lot of times what happens is if there's music in it, that's copywritten, YouTube won't let you post a video unless, like, they'll po you post it and then they, like, private it unless you get, like, because it's copywritten music or it won't show in certain areas of the world. And so they won't let you post a video unless you've gotten permission from the person that makes the music. So for me to just go out on the street and randomly film stuff, and I think we all know I don't edit, <laughs> like, you know, where you put, like, a track over it, like a lot of YouTubers do. So that's kind of why I haven't done it. But I understand your, I understand your comment about that. And, like, you know, I'm going to try. I want to film more of it. So 
when we're out and about, I'll try to do some of that stuff. Like, we're gonna, tomorrow night, we're gonna go over to Lincoln Road, and um, there's not a lot of music over there, so it'll be fun. But the other thing is, and this is gonna sound stupid, but, like, this is really what we do in, in South Beach, is that we, uh, like, walk up and down the street to the restaurants and get coffee and go shopping. And then we're by the pool and we're by the beach in in the hotel room. <laughs> it's kind of the vacation. So it's not like, you know, we like we don't go and do a bunch of touristy stuff. And although I would really like to go to the marina for the book that I'm working on because um, I want one of my characters to live at the marina down here and I've never been at the marina. And Alex went to dinner at the marina the last time he was down here with his friend. So I, I kind of want to see it. So I might have him take me there one day. Life with migraine said, I feel like that about sleep too. I wish I could just go without sleep, LOL. And if I sleep past about 10 a.m., I feel lazy and I feel like I've wasted too much of the day sleeping. 10 a.m. is early for me. Peter, I know you told us not to look, but I looked anyway. OMG. <laughs> yes, write a rap. That would be awesome. Peter, you are so hot. You were so hot in high school said Amber Watson. What happened? You're so ugly now. No, she didn't say that. <laughs> I know what the boys would have been all over you if being gay was accepted more back then. Well, Amber, you know what I think they would have said? I, I, I think what I probably would have said to them is, my milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> oh my god, we said coupon coupon instead of coupon growing up in North Carolina I said uh, to rally nine I love that Heather Matson gave me blue hearts <sighs> okay Olivia reads a lot gave me a really uh, but watching you now let's just do everything except to talk about the problems she left me a really nice message that I'm skimming right now, but I will read it later. But thank you so much. Oh, she's like, you got me through some really hard times. There's Autumn. Hey, Autumn. Okay, so Olivia, I'm going to read your message when I get off here. <laughs> Sarah Space said, I audibly said, honey, you're sitting on it when he asked where his book was. You really make your audience feel like you're friends. <laughs> Do I? So many people say they feel like they're just sitting there talking to me. I think that's so hilarious. I love that. That's what I want. Like, seriously? Like, I love that. Somebody commented on my main channel video and they're like, like, he's kind of annoying. Like, I know. Like, you guys think I don't know that? Like, that's what cracks me up, right? But they were like, he's kind of annoying, but like, after a while when you watch him, like, if you watch enough of his videos in a row, it's like, truly like your, like, best friend, like, best Judy, sitting there and you're just gossiping with, that's exactly what I want my videos to, that's why I don't edit my videos, like, that is like, the secret to it. Like, a year ago, like, when people would say to me, like, you need to learn how to edit your videos, I was like, they're probably right, but like, now, I'm not editing my videos now, like, this is, I just don't, like, because... This is, I want it to feel like that. Like, I'm just talking to you guys. Like, I love it so much. Okay, so I want to say something, but I got to stop this and then come back. Because we're almost at 30 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so the thing I wanted to say, and here, I just lost the comment because my phone just, like, rolled. So let me read it to you. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, here it is. Life with migraines. And this is not the comment, the original comment, but the comment is, a black cat doesn't necessarily, or a black cat doesn't mean anything in regards to luck. I have a black cat right now. I've had black cats constantly for the last 20 years. Okay, so thank you, uh, Life with Migraines. And to the other person that left this comment, I don't know who you are, but I screenshot it. I'll, I'll find it somewhere in there. So just own it in the comment section below. But they said, please don't say anything bad about black cats because there's an overpopulation of black cats like at Humane Society and like rescues and things like that because people don't want black cats because they supposedly are bad luck, which I had never thought of before, you know, and I thought that was like such an interesting point of view. Um, and although we won't have cats because we're like deathly allergic to them, I thought, you know, I wonder if people know that, like... I, I don't know. I just thought that that was interesting. It's very similar to, like, the whole kind of, like, pit bull thing. You know, p p people won't get pit bulls and Rottweilers because that they're, like, so aggressive 
when actually that's not necessarily the case. It depends on training a lot of times. Um, like Tanya, my best friend that owns a dog kennel, she would like, she has no problem and she has a special license for it to board pits and Rottweilers. And she's like, they're really good dogs to like board. So yeah. What's that dog that Mark Jacobs owns? That's what I want. Like a French? Is it a French bulldog? The long snail. Oh. Or a British. I don't know what it is, but I love that dog. So anyway, how was your shower? Nice. It wasn't as long as last night. Literally, like, it's like letting the heat, like, just like relax me. It's kind of like a nice sauna. Sauna, like detox. So I'm gonna get off here now, and um, we're gonna get ready for bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.